already talked about the four and five man a lot. How important is, will that be against the four? Well, they, they're a hard man-to-man -man team, but last year they played three guys hard man-to-man -man and the other two in a tandem playing zone. And they, they hadn't showed it all year until the last two games. So for us, that's not a great scoring spot for us at the four spot. So we're, we're getting ready for it because they had success against us last year with them. Remember last year, this was kind of a track game for... A bad game for us. Yeah. Worst game we played all year. Right. Um, how important is it for the guys to be emotionally ready for this game? Well, I think that's what worries me about our group as a whole. It's like we've shown we can play and be emotionally engaged against the Penn States, the Pitts, the Notre Dames, the Davidsons. And then we've shown other times where we've been a little bit lackadaisical until our back was against the wall. So Fordham's a good team. They're not a great team, but they're a, they're a team that uh, they, they, they do some things that can bother people. And it's all on matchups, as you know, in this game. So we have to make sure that our four man's going to have to have a good game for us to win. You were talking about things like, you know, personal accountability and maturity, things like that. Who are some of the guys that you feel like are getting that and picking that stuff up? I mean, you have a team full of sophomores and freshmen, but that you can rely on as someone that's on the team that can echo that message instead of it all just coming from you. You're pretty slick, though. You try to get me to say who, who is on board, so then you know who isn't on board. See, I, I'm smarter than that. I think I'm a dumb, dumb jock, don't you? See, I see you. You put me in that little pigeon hole. Um, well, I think Kellen's a guy, you know, because Kellen has respected the group, and he's, he's smart and he's objective. So he's a guy that can echo it. Uh, I think Sincere's a guy. You know, he's earned his he's earned his stripes so far this season. In order to do it, you got to come to practice every day, practice hard every day, and be emotionally engaged every day. So, um, what what did you do? What didn't you do well against Davidson that needs to improve tomorrow night? We didn't play great against the zone. We played a pretty solid defensive game overall. The first half they shot some in on us, but overall it was a pretty solid defensive game. Uh, we shot the ball really well the first half and not so well the second half. And if you check our numbers, that's an issue. Our numbers in the second half are not near as good as our numbers in the first half, shooting the ball. So until we shoot the ball at a higher level, we're not going to get away from anybody. When I say get away, I mean go from four points up to 10 or 12 points up or from eight points up to 15 points up. We haven't shot the ball good enough to do that. Who's the one shooter in this team that can break us up? So far, we haven't seen it, you know, who that is. We've been so, like, if you look at their numbers as a whole, like, Eric has the best numbers shooting from the three line on our right. team. But his, can, his are a little bit spotty at times, too. You know, he'll go five for six one game and then but he's probably the most consistent. How's Mike Hughes doing? Obviously, he had you know pretty much a year off, and then he had two more weeks off injury-wise, just fitness-wise. Yeah, he hasn't been very good the last two days. Mm -hmm. He's beat up. Mm -hmm. Like it's January, so like if you're beat up in January, it's tough. Mm -hmm. You know, so he, he's had a rough couple days to be honest. So part of it is too many minutes too soon. He's probably playing 26. He should be playing probably 17 or 16. Coach, you've, you've lost a lot of tough games toward the end. you think that can be a learning experience down the road for a young team? It's youngness part of it. It's, it's uh, mental toughness. It's maturity. It's a lack of a go-to guy. In fairness to Sincere, he plays so many minutes and creates so many opportunities throughout the game. And then he guards the best player that he's a little bit spent when it matters. But he still tries to make plays for others. So it, we're asking him to do too much. Right? He's the guy, but we're asking him during the game to do too much, so he doesn't have a lot left at the end. Will you limit um, Michael's minutes tomorrow night? If he looked like he did today, yes. So it's, it's kind of thing you, you monitor on a day-to-day -day basis. We got we got to get him rejuvenated. Everybody hits the wall at different times. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that two three weeks off hurts him. 
just got to take care of himself, you know, and really spend a lot of time on rehab, a lot of time sleeping, eating. If you if you don't do all of those things, and you're not physically great anyway, right? Because he's got asthma on top of the, the issues, then it becomes difficult. We have to fight with or without. You know, that's yeah. that's the bottom line. We expect you. Depending on Eric, maybe to break the zone. You also need a rebounder. No, he's a good rebounder. He's probably our most consistent rebounder. Him and Marcus. Yeah, we just got to make some plays when it matters. Like we, we got to make your free throws. We're down two. We miss a one on one. We got to make shots around the rim. You have to make good decisions as to whether it's a good shot or, or I should kick that one and be a little more patient. We made that mistake. We made a moving screen where we butchered a play. We just have to make better plays when it matters. And a lot of that is insecurity and confidence. You know, uh, having belief in yourself. How's Amari Kelly developing? He's, he's shown the ability to be a good shot blocker, but sometimes he'll fall out a little early. Yeah, I mean, we just talked about it. Like, uh, sometimes his sense of urgency puts him in bad positions, which causes him to get in foul trouble. The speed of the college game. So most of it is an effort. It's just getting to places sooner and quicker and being more urgent. Like he, had, he played pretty good against Davidson, but we couldn't keep him in there because he fouled. Mm -hmm. He's getting hand checks because he's a little late. He's getting moving screens because he's not comfortable yet in the system. Uh, he gets over the back some because he's not disciplined. It's, it's a conglomeration of things, but he's young and you know he's playing at a high level. Good.